All right, it's time to uh, get his body put together, hopefully. Just rough it in. Um, all right, let's get busy on this, and I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Alright, I've got the uh, arms and legs blocked in. Now it's a matter of getting the uh, upper torso blocked in also. Oh, yeah. This is fun. I like doing this part. It's detail work that drives me nuts because it takes forever. <laughs> anyway. I like the pose. <coughs> I've left the uh, joints uh, empty of clay because I may change my mind as far as the uh, pose goes. I don't know yet. I'm just still playing with what I've got going on here. But I think you can see what's happening with it. as I uh, work on it. Now I know a lot of people, when they sculpt, will wrap the uh, arm armatures with thin wire so that uh, clay won't slip. Well, this is, it's, it's worthless to even do that with this size of a piece because, when well, honestly, there's just not that much weight weighing down on the uh, arms so I don't need to do that I just need to do the best I can as far as uh, getting the uh, anatomy sketched in that's the hips I'm working on right there I was thinking about doing a female, but I had already worked out the arms to be uh, a male's shoulders, which are two heads wide, which I'm, I've got that drawn on this base here. Let me see if I can show you. I've, I've put the head measurements, there's four head measurements, and I'm just putting my caliper on two head measurements because that's how wide the shoulders have to be. And you can see it's real close. I've just, when I start putting the muscles on, it will uh, round out nicely. Now I'm going to shape the thorax area. Now the difference between a male and a female in the thorax area is a female has a V-shaped uh, rib cage. And the male has more of a rounded rib cage.
Now the rib cage comes down to the bottom of uh, or where the elbow is. That's how you can align that. I still don't know whether I'm going to do a male or female. I mean, not male, but uh, a Native American or a mountain man. And uh, I still haven't come up with a story in my mind what it's going to be doing. So it doesn't have a title yet. I gotta work out the center of his backbone. And it's gonna be coming down like this. Check in the profile, make sure it doesn't look too thick of a thorax. This is why if you have a good armature, these things fall into shape real quick. And I cover making armatures in a video that I have on Vimo on uh, creating human armatures, uh, horse armatures, and even dog armatures. Because they're all different. And... Uh, I try to give you the best tools possible to uh, make the best sculpture you can by videoing completely what I do in those videos that I have on my Vimo streaming video. It's uh, nine videos and uh, I give you the advantage of my over 50 years of sculpting in every one of those videos. You don't do this overnight. You learn a little bit by little bit and by experience and by just doing it. And what I do is I try to pass on my techniques and they may not be the best techniques, but they're the ones I worked out for myself. And uh, I learned a little bit from my distant uncle, who is one of the top sculptors in the country. Back in the 60s, he 
helped me a lot. Actually, back in the 70s, uh, he helped me a lot to understand structure, bone structure, emphasizing the uh, bone structure and uh, giving the body something other than making it look like a bag full of meat. You have to have structure. Also, having these mannequins helps a lot, too. Uh, they're very, they're, these little small ones are expensive, I mean, but they uh, do help. And it's worth having in your studio. The uh, website is uh, anatomytools.com if you want to take a look. Now I've just sketched in the uh, shoulder blades, and uh, I believe the shoulder blades are about a head length long, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yep, about a head length long, and. Uh, I'm just uh, basically sketching them in. Now I'm gonna take the head off when I work on it and work on a, a jig to uh, fine tune it because uh, I just uh, enjoy doing it that way. Head measurement's perfect. And it looks proportional now. Ow! Thumb really hurts. Not the thumb, the joint right here. Every time I press the clay, that joint lets me know it's there. Okay, I'm going to do the uh, collarbone. You don't want to get crazy with the collarbone. Now I'm just sketching it in. I'll refine it as I work on it. But it gives me the shape of the shoulders. and the uh, neck area. <sighs> Still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do yet. My mind is moving towards a mountain man after a long trek up a mountainside Looking down, he takes a rest on a rock to look out over the landscape uh, that he's uh, above, looking for signs of beaver. That could be the title. Looking for signs of beaver. He's taking his hat off. I could have it there, or I could have it hanging from there. I like it there. But I'm thinking it'd be easier to cast it if it was there. 
So I think I'll put it right there. This isn't the final hat. This is just me uh, just trying to get an idea of where I'd put it. Yeah. And then I could have his uh, sheathed rifle resting on his arm. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I mean, it actually looks pretty good. Of course, the hat's going to be beat up. And I'll work on that more, but... I think it'll be... I think I'm going to... I'm coming up with a title. There's a movie called How the West Was Won, and... I think it was Henry Fonda... Or was it Jimmy Stewart? I think it might have been Jimmy Stewart, who played a mountain man. And he was hunting for the uh, railroad company, and he decided to uh, leave working for them. And they said, where are you headed? And he says, up to the high lonesome. And uh, maybe that's what I'll call this. The view from the high, viewing The view from the high lonesome, or something like that. I'm really liking the, the way it looks right now. All right, that's what I'm going to have to call it quits right now, and I'll come back and pick this up next time. Uh, it's uh, working out pretty good, I think. Now I got the structure underneath the uh, clothing, which will help me to work out the wrinkles and I'll fine-tune the uh, body a little bit more when I get back down here next time but I, I'm happy the way that's turning out I got his feet blocked in uh, the feet are about a head length long ideally from the heel to the toe they could be longer but uh, ideally that's about how long they are And now i got to figure out what kind of rock formation to have him sitting on. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. All right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you uh, next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.